Hello and welcome back to the continuation of the WAC helicopter tutorial where I'm explaining more about the helicopters. This is the little bird. The little bird, it kind of looks like the uh, 500D but it's more advanced, it's more awesome. Uh, it flies pretty much the same as the helicopter although it has some different things. The unlock position of this helicopter is pretty much the same it's on the side although do know that this helicopter is actually hollow on the inside so if I were pointing my uh, fist gun through it I can move map props I didn't want to do that oh god <laughs> so I can move through it so make sure that if you want to unlock it that you're actually aiming at the helicopter itself so uh, down below here or just on the seats not sure if we can unlock it on a tilt as well, but that would be kind of silly, so don't bother about that. So, you can unlock the helicopter on any sides. The amount of seats is two. You have the pilot seat and you have one passenger seat. Do remember that the pilot seat is the only seat that can fly this helicopter, so... You can switch seats by pressing one or two on your keyboard. That is... And the unique feature of this helicopter is that it is dangerous because like you can see it has weapons although in Harbor Roleplay you are supposed to buy these weapons and every time you respawn your helicopter you will have to fly over to Blue Harbor to get your weapons again from the same NPC as you bought them although you will know and uh, you will notice that once you bought the weapons the one time, you will get them for free uh, from that one moment on. So it's it just works the same way as claiming your helicopter, although you won't be claiming helicopter, but you will claim your weapons back. So when you spawn a helicopter the first time, it will spawn as this model without any weapons. They fly over to Blue Harbor get the weapons and it will be switched over for this model so to use your weapons uh, you can use your controls and you use your fire weapon and next weapon so I set it to F and G because I'm using my keyboard like I explained in the main video so if I press F I will be flying the turret and from that moment on you can see the ammo down uh, on the green line over there and the name of the weapon that you're using and if we were pressing G it switches over to the rocket so I have 14 rockets so if I hold F it will shoot the rockets until they're empty and although now it says reloading but this is disabled on Harbor Roleplay because if you want to reload your weapons you have to fly back and reclaim your weapons because even though you already have reclaimed it if you reclaim them again, it will just refill your ammo until it's maxed. Whoops, that was the wrong bind. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Uh, that's pretty much the unique feature of this, that it has weapons and it's pretty awesome to fly. It's uh, medium sized and it's pretty agile, I would say. It's one of my uh, favorite helicopters so far, so... Yeah, is it good for smuggling? Mm, it's pretty much the same as the 500D helicopter. I guess you could smuggle the smallest package with it by hanging it on the front, probably. Uh, I would not recommend to put it on the sides, although it's possible. But do know that if you put packages on the sides, it will get out of balance it, uh, your helicopter will start to tip over to the left or right and to counter that either you have to press the opposite button uh, all the time to keep your helicopter uh, well steady and straight <laughs> steady and straight whatever <laughs> but uh, you can also just keep your auto hoover enabled and it should be enough to keep your helicopter steady as well so maybe you could smuggle these packages by putting them on the side although these are kind of heavy so I have not done this myself yet so feel free to try it out if you dare it 
but I would not recommend it because this helicopter is just too small for it I would say and uh, all, oh yeah also remember that if you put smuggle packages don't ever put them close to your main rotor or tail rotor so don't put packages on the back over here maybe it works although I just find it kind of dangerous having it too close to the tail rotor so I recommend to put if you're smuggling these small packages put them on your side and then keep out of hover and able to uh, counter your out of balance or put them to your front and just make sure you don't crash into the ocean so my personal opinion on this helicopter is that I really like it myself it's awesome it, it looks really sweet uh, it, it, it looks realistic it flies awesome as well it's really agile and it reacts kind of quick although that de probably depends on the settings of your real uh, sensitivity and realism which I've put to max and um, yeah it has weapons so you could use this uh, to help your friends to either raid a place or uh, well coming back to whenever this helicopter is good for smuggling uh, well basically I was uh, using an example of using this helicopter itself to smuggle that is bad but imagine you can pretty much use this helicopter for smuggling but just put the package on either another helicopter or on your boat of your friend and then you use this helicopter as air support so you can protect him so in that sense this helicopter is perfect for smuggling because it has a turret so you can uh, save your friend from losing his package if uh, well you know raiders try to steal it from them while you're on the ocean so in that sense this helicopter is good but this, to use the helicopter itself to smuggle by putting the packages on there I would say no probably not so that's also uh, one of my personal opinions this helicopter is awesome it has weapons and um, yeah it, that's pretty much it I don't really have more to say about it so I hope you learned from this uh, if I missed anything of this or if you want to know more about this helicopter feel free to post a comment down below if you want to know more about the other helicopters press one of these annotations and I'll be gladly explaining them I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you learned from it uh, thanks for watching and safe life.